so we all know that we are supplying the wiring harness with the ats uh, to feed the voltage externally from the incoming spreader bars so this is the wiring harness uh, we will be providing with the ats package so here uh, there is a labeling for the termination of the phase and neutral so the first terminal says the this is the neutral and the next one is the L1 that is R phase and next to the L2 that is Y phase and the next one is L3 that is B phase. In this side you can see uh, there is a two four pin connectors. So one is for the source two and the next one is for the source one. Okay. So in this connector we need to connect the wiring harness to feed the external voltage. So the wiring harness will have a ferrule identification for source one and source two. So according to that, we need to connect the wiring harness. So this one is the wiring harness for the source one. Okay. So I will connect the wiring harness here. So the connectors need to be connected. Now it is connected. So there is a uh, termination identification like uh, terminal identification like a neutral L1, L2, L3. We should not change the any wiring uh, here okay we can change the wiring in the incoming spreader side not on the connector side so we have already connected the wiring harness to the voltage vd connector so now we need to connect the uh, another side of the harness to the incoming uh, bus bar or cable side this is the uh, incoming side of uh, source 1 and this is source 2 so the labeling has been done neutral L1, L2, L3. So according to that, we need to connect the wiring harness. So now you can see uh, the wiring harness has been connected as the standard procedure like uh, neutral on neutral, uh, red on L1, and Y on L2 and B phase on L3. Okay. So in case the customer needs RYB, that means L1, L2, L3 instead of neutral L1, L2, L3 means. So we have to interchange the wiring harness as per the requirement. 